The bromine water test is a very simple but useful chemical test that helps you distinguish between an alkane molecule from an alkane molecule. Now at school, typically you will be conducting this experiment to compare cyclohexane and cyclohexene. The method is to add bromine water, which has a chemical formula Br2, to these two types of hydrocarbons. Cyclohexane is an alkane and cyclohexane is an alkene. The use of cyclohexane and cyclohexene are due to a few folds. First of all, they are less volatile than smaller alkanes and alkenes as they are bigger hydrocarbons and have stronger dispersion forces due to their cyclic or cyclic structure. Bromine water is also safer to use compared to bromine gas as the inhalation of halogens can have toxic side effects. The main observation of the bromine water test is that the addition of bromine water, which is initially an orange or brown color solution, will quickly decolorize when added to the alkene solution. This is because the alkene will quickly react with the bromine water in an addition reaction shown here, and due to the reaction of bromine water, the solution's color will quickly decolorize compared to the alkane solution where there is no reaction, as alkanes do not undergo addition reactions with halogens. So alkenes, they quickly react with the bromine water and decolorizes the solution, allowing you to distinguish between the solutions of alkane versus the alkene. In order for the bromine water test to be a valid chemical test, the experiment must be conducted in the absence of sunlight. This is because in the presence of sunlight or UV lights, alkanes can also react with bromine water in a substitution reaction, which we'll talk about in a different video. And again, the result of that reaction will also decolorize the alkane solution. So if the aim of the bromine water test is to help you distinguish between an alkane from an alkene, you must perform the experiment in the absence of UV lights.